Hello, Rosary Beach. Today is March 24th. Um, is it 2020? 2020. Yeah, yeah, 2020. I'm sitting here with Dr. Manuel, and uh, we're at our office at Club Morena. Mm-hmm. Thank you for coming down, doctor, uh, to see us and to talk okay. to us. Sure. Obviously, this is some trying times right now. People are, um, they, they got a lot of questions. They got a lot of um, concerns about, you know, what's happening. And obviously, they're getting a lot of information in the news and, all, and everything. And so some of it's real, some of it's not. I thought mm-hmm. it would be really important to have you come down and uh, specifically talk about Baja, Mexico, Rosarito, um, what's happening, you know, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, um, because a lot of our clients, maybe they don't speak uh, speak Spanish, mm-hmm. and so they might not be so tapped into the Spanish news and stuff that, that that's mm-hmm. going on. They're only hearing um, from maybe the English side of what's happening. Mm-hmm. So I think it would be good to get your perspective on, on what you're seeing and feeling here and what we can do yeah. about it. Sure. Thanks for inviting me, Kenoa. I'm really happy that we, we have this opportunity. Because um, uh, according to the official um, view of this, uh, they asked me from the epidemi- epidemiology department in Baja, because I have friend, friends there that we went uh, to school together, and they asked me to do this and share this information to the American community. And uh, so basically the, the idea from the government is to... Um, uh, tell people to lock themselves in the houses because the idea is to prevent you know the spreading now we are on phase two it's just today i think right yes starting today, today mexico officially has uh, gone yeah. to phase two right that basically means that we we start having you know local spreading okay so or local cases the community not, spreading right? not not just imported cases okay and especially here in rosarito we have a, a lot of people you know, going back and forth from the States, you know, a, a lot of people flying to Euro, coming back, and uh, and we are actually on, at the highest uh, risk now. Um, and so my idea and, and their idea is to, to stop this or lower the, the curve because we'll, sure. we'll, we'll have cases, you know, this, this, the expectations from the government is to have like over, you know, like 2,000 new, 2,000, 200,000. 200,000 infections. Infections in all Mexico. Okay. In all Mexico, <clears throat> excuse me, for the next month. So they're expecting mm-hmm. it to start peaking in the next 30 days, yes. probably. Is that is that what they're seeing? Yes, yes, because okay. we, we we don't know who's infected. Right. Uh, and we cannot test people here. You know, it's it's hard even for Americans. Right. Yeah, to test people. That's why they, they, they're raising their um, uh, their positives. This, this day, they got... A thousand new, thousand new patients in a, in the states because okay. they are they're they're testing now, so we don't have this opportunity here, but we can do a lot of stuff. Are they seeing a lot yeah. of cases? Are, I mean, are are there cases showing up in the hospitals here yet? Are, are, yeah, are, yeah, there are. Um, I heard today a couple cases confirmed from Rosarito. So they actually confirmed? Confirmed from okay. Rosarito. All right, that's the so, first I've heard about that. Yeah, I, I received that that uh, uh, notice like uh, an hour ago. Okay, Okay. All so right. this is um, uh, reliable information and um, and we thought that we this would be, you know, very, very far from right. us, but, but it's here. It's happening faster. It's, yeah. it's real and it's happening and it's coming. So we have to prepare uh, the community. Of course, I don't want to alarm people, okay. but it's important to turn the alarms on sure. and, and get more uh, alert about the situation. Because a lot of our clients are in the older demographic. They probably have pre-existing conditions. They are, a lot of our clients are, are um, you know, probably over 60 and 70 years old. So it's really important for me um, yeah. You know, in our in our company, our community, because these are our friends and our neighbors. Mm-hmm. We want them to be as safe as possible. Yeah. So the the basic recommendation for them, because they are the 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 highest risk, right. uh, is just stay at home. Okay. Don't go outside. It's not necessary. Just if you have to have the need to go to the ATM, because we are always running short on, on cash here. Right. Just do a basic basic things. That that's why I brought this. If you have this uh, kind yeah. of... Uh, yeah, you sprayed me down as soon as you yeah. sat down. <laughs> so I will spray you again. So it's very easy. Just take care of this one, with, one of these with you and a simple you know, towel. So every time you have to go to the ATM or to OXO or you're going to grab something, you know, handle bar somewhere, spray it first and then clean it, touch it like this, and then throw it away immediately. Okay? And... Bring a lot of this in your pocket 
and this. So this is a kind of safe um, safety protection um, strategy. So if if we have to go outside and and do some some things, of course we have to get some groceries. Sometimes at gas stations, beware because a lot of people is just passing sure. on and and touching the money and, touching and all that stuff. The money, yes, the money is the worst the worst part. Also your your aid your cards when you the credit cards the credit yeah. cards. So spread your cards. I know it was at Costco yesterday. They won't touch the cards. They won't. They don't want to touch your Costco yeah. card or your credit card or anything. Yeah. yeah. So let's let's keep everything clean. Another important recommendation, if you go outside, is to um, leave your shoes outside okay. the door, okay, right. and and you close to if possible, and immediately take them, you know, with wearing gloves and and face mask and wash them up everything. So, yeah. so so doctor, you were talking to me yesterday because part of our clients are small business owners here. So mm -hmm. maybe you have some recommendations for some of the businesses. Obviously, I mean, should they close down right now? I mean, should they send everybody home? Uh, uh, what's your, I mean, what's your thoughts about that? You know, as as business owner, it's hard to to send people back, especially if, if a lot of people depends on you. And um, I, I was the first, you know, very reluctant to close. But um, uh, that's why I called my friends and I said, uh, "Hey, tell me what's going on. Tell me the truth." And they said close. They said close because this thing is coming. It's real, and uh, and if you can survive for a while, uh, uh, close, do it, do it. So that's why I decided to stop, and I, I closed my 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 doors like an hour ago. I sent them all back home, and uh, and you know that's the only solution, Kenoa, because it's not just about um, protecting ourselves. Right. It's about saving lives because okay. if you are contagious, if you got the virus and you don't know you have it, you're asymptomatic, then you're all spreading the, the, the virus everywhere and you might probably be you know, participating on killing people. Mm. So let's save lives and save ourselves. So it's important for local businesses and it's hard because you know, the, I think the hardest part and, and, uh, uh, and from my point of view and from the, the official government perspective is the ignorance, kind of ignorance that's why we're here trying to, you know, bring some light to... to, to I have to, to you know, admit that, you know, part of it, I wasn't, you know, a month or two months ago, I wasn't taking it seriously. I mean, it wasn't... Neither it did, I. You know, it, yeah. I wasn't in knowing, and as I'm seeing more about this, yeah. and the, I guess the part that makes me a little nervous is that for some people, there is no symptoms, right? And But then there's some people, it really hits really hard. And you don't know what where you're going to fall in between the person that is not going to affect at all to that person that's going to need a ventilator. So so it's, it seems like there's different people that are going yeah. to be affected differently. It, it depends on the on the viral load. Okay. It depends on the viral load. It depends how much you expose to to, bio, to the virus. So if you just, you know, one time go to the ATM and you get some virus in your your fingertips and then you touch your face then you get a kind of uh, viral load but if you are like me working on a health facility right then I, I will be exposed to more and more and more viruses of course the the, the disease will hit me harder than normal people even though I'm um, uh, you know supposedly immune uh, you know system strong sure but but I don't know but depending on the load that's why we've seen more and more uh, doctors healthy doctors mm -hmm. um, around my age that are uh, having, you know, the the, 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 the the infection. And a few of them ha have died. That's why the, the hospitals are running short on doctors because they are on quarantine too. Wow. So, so this is something that we really bring, you know, up. Okay. And, uh, and, and, and as I said, the ignorance, you know, that's the problem. The ignorance. Ignorance means being sleeping, right. not not aware of of what's going on, and if we get you know um, um, alert or awake or uh, just conscious, this the consciousness will beat the virus. So if we are aware of using this stuff, if we are aware of not getting outside and 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 following the recommendations, we'll beat this um, uh, down. Yeah. So for people, so right right now we're talking about what we can do to avoid it, mm -hmm. but I think that there's going to be certain people that aren't going to be able to avoid it, right? So some people are here going to get it. So they're going to end up getting the virus. It's going to come through Rosarito. Some people are going to get sick. Some people are going to have manageable sickness that they can deal with at home. What happens to the people that maybe at what point 
do they start calling the doctor? At what point or who do they call or, or what do they do while they're here? What would you recommend? Yeah, definitely uh, any kind of respiratory tract uh, symptoms like sneezing, coughing, of course, slightly fever. It should be um, checked by a, a physician, by a doctor. So just go straight to the hospital. But are they, okay, so right now, because I, I was just reading with the Red Cross, just just announced right now that um, um, they just were putting out that they're mm-hmm. going to be really restrictive on how they're going to handle people that come in or, or if they're going to, like, I guess, how they're going to deal with people walking in. So is it better to call them or is it better just to go to the hospital? It's better to go to the hospital. Okay. Because they can, they can take a look and they can see if you really have a... Um, a viral infection or could be a bacterial infection but sometimes it's hard because a viral infection can get complicated and then you have a, 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 a bacterial infection over that one and it's really, it's really difficult to differentiate but um, if you feel bad or you start feeling kind of respiratory tract in, in, in symptoms Go straight to the hospital. That's so how um, soon is, is Mexico able to start testing yet, or or what's the idea? No, of what's Mexico. Happen? We are unfor- unfortunately short on testing. Uh, not even the the medical personnel is being testing, and um, and uh, if you have the opportunity to get tested at the states, better to go there, up there, and do it there. Uh, we don't have enough, you know, uh, respiratory ventilators. Right. We are. We have just like twenty in the, in the whole state. In the state, really? yeah, in the state. So it's it's really uh, difficult. Now we we are considered we consider that the the health system here is collapsed now. So you can imagine having you know more and more and more cases. Uh, we have to stop this now. So, so that's why the urge. To stay at home. So for yeah. our American clients, I know because I've, I've actually, when we're dealing with my father before he had passed and yeah. stuff, it was convenient to get him over to the U.S. So as if, when he had gotten sick, they were able to um, put him in an ambulance, take him to the border. The border was then able to transfer him over yeah. to the uh, to the U.S. healthcare yeah, system. Yeah, because the U.S. health system is more um, uh, prepared, okay. is, is ready. As, so as, would you as, recommend that would be the yeah. that would be the first thing that they should probably yeah, for do American if they get re- if somebody gets yes. really sick? Okay. If you have the opportunity, better to get across and, and find help, some help there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. So, so I, I want to... To make this statement, you know, the most important thing of, of this chat, because I think ignorance, you know, again, okay. ignorance. So ignorance requires just attention. So we need to open our eyes, open our hearts, and open our minds to, to what's going on and, uh, and try to find reliable sources of information. And that's really going to my next thing yeah. is going, where is, um, right now I know that we, they just started a new Facebook group of some of uh, the community leaders got together. Mm-hmm. I'll put the link in mm-hmm. and they are coming together to make sure that everyone gets the right information because mm-hmm. there's a lot of misinformation going on right now. So mm-hmm. well, I'll put the link in there so everybody can go there and get the okay. official information for the city. Mm-hmm. And that way nobody's, we're not, we're not going off of rumors and, and all that kind of craziness that's yeah happening. yeah and uh and uh, you know i said ignorance but also it's important to point out here that uh the solution is awareness awareness of our immune system because you know the 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 government and the pharmaceutical companies are looking for a vaccine right something to kill the virus but uh from my point of view i think we should all get stronger especially at our immune system so our bodies can defend better against this, sure. this, this virus. So the best way to improve uh, or boost our immune response is by uh, exercising. So uh, everybody is getting fatter. Yeah, you know? I know. Now I know. That's, one, that's one of the pre, uh, that's uh-huh. one of the conditions that they're talking about. So at home, squatting, lunging, you know, push-ups, going upstairs. If you have um, stairs at home, up and down 10 times, up and down, sweat. Because this is a respiratory problem. If you improve your respiratory uh, capacity, you might probably get the virus, but you will be able to overcome the virus and you will not get, you know, uh, clot by all this phlegm and this uh, um, uh, obstruction. So you you have room, you have a kind of residual capacity to overcome this. And, uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, any kind of respiratory technique, the the Wim Hof method, mm. um, yes, it's really the breathing important. method. Yeah. yeah, the breathing method. So if I know a lot of American people know about 
um, uh, yoga and about pranayama. So practice respiratory exercises. Actually, you can sweat mm -hmm. and, uh, and you'll get stronger at this area. And you'll be able to uh, um, uh, eliminate the things and the stuff you don't need to. So this is a good, um, um, a different approach uh, to address this situation just by getting stronger on our immune system. And of course, avoiding the contact, that's sure. the basic Number thing. one. Huh? Number one, yeah. yeah. So doctor, so if anything changes, uh, you keep yeah. us up to date. On, yep. on what's happening mm -hmm. so I can share it with anybody? Yeah, with everybody. Yeah, sure, everybody. yes. I have okay. access to the most reliable information. Uh, my friends are in the health system uh, at the state in here in Baja. And uh, I'll sure, sure, I will share it to you whatever I, I, I found important. And we can post it. We can, yeah, we, definitely. We can because another... I think one part is we're getting ready for it, but we also need to know when it's over too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when do we have the real information that okay now it's safe yeah. to you know to to have? Yeah. I don't know if the world will ever go back to the way it was, but you know we got to have some idea think, of some understanding of what I we think can it's go a back. kind of a collective awakening. Yeah, collective yeah, awakening. And you know we will not just beat this virus um, uh, down. We'll also beat any kind of infections. You know, sexual infections, influenzas, parasites, a lot of infectious disease will be controlled. And finally, we'll get you know, uh, out of this as a stronger community, a stronger um, uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, planet. Yeah, civilization, yeah. yeah. And you know, and we don't, not, we, we shouldn't uh, miss the point that in Baja and in California, we are the same community. You know, South Baja is very, very far away. Yeah. Sonora, just a desert, desert there. We are isolated. Uh, Baja California and uh, California is the same community. The border is there, but right. but we are constantly so back, back and forth. Exactly. So we are the same community. Of, of course, we know that the Mexican government has been over, overwhelmed by the situation. That's why we're taking actions. The local um, um, authorities and, and me as uh, just a simple... Um, uh, doctor yeah. here, and uh, and and we have to take actions and follow you know the American recommendations. So that's why we are here. Okay. <laughs> okay? Well, yeah. I, is doctor, is there anything else you want to share with the people today? Uh, basically, that um, this thing still haven't started yet. It hasn't. I kind of felt that I, I, I agree with it. Yet. it okay. hasn't. We're getting ready for it to start. I yeah. think next mm -hmm. month is going to be where yeah. we're going to feel it. And so, yeah, you know, we're so going to start taking measures at home. Mm -hmm. We started to already. We're going to start taking measures at the office. So mm -hmm. everything we're starting to, um, you know, get ready because I think it will, it's going to start showing up here in Rosarito. Like yeah, you said so, today, mm -hmm. I guess is the first time. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's time for everyone to start paying attention and, and, yeah. and really, and, and not, don't be naive. And, and, um, naive. and I like what you said mm -hmm. and think about not only, think about not only yourself, but maybe the other people you could be infecting too. Yeah. So I hope to see you soon, and okay. and and I hope this with better news on. next time. With better news, yeah. Well, okay. okay, perfect. Thank you guys, okay. everybody. Have a good Thank day. You. Stay safe and healthy. Bye bye. Yeah.